All right, good afternoon, everybody. So today we're going to start a tutorial on Vectorworks. I'm using Spotlight 2022. And basically we're going to um, make a small rig, starting with the stage. Um, and by any means, my way is not the only way to go about this. Um, I just hope it helps some people out. And, and yeah, let's just grow the industry together and let's get to it. So first I'm going to select my rectangle tool. Um, I'm gonna, let's go ahead and make a, a standard 60 by 40 stage, 60 feet, by 40 feet. All right. Um, okay. Well, first things first, let's get it. Let's get it centered. Um, I do want my downstage edge to be at zero. Right. And let's put this guy negative 30 feet. So now we're perfectly centered up oh, 40 feet now we're perfectly centered so vectorworks has some really cool um, tools that we can utilize for example we'll go to event design create stage and here you're gonna find a few different options um, you know you can customize your own stage the heights all sorts of different things so let's stick with this right here And just give it a sec. Cool, cool. So um, you could work off right, right where it's at. Um, I am gonna go ahead and put the the legs in all the decks, and just to make it right, so we don't have a random floating deck. Cool. So now let's go here. Let the decks come in place. Great. Oh, I think I missed one. Yep. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and put some rails on the back. Let's see, right here. Let's go with that. go let's go ahead and give it rails on the side rails on the side awesome oh let's go ahead and label this as well stage cool so now we have a stage show you what it looks like my computer is a little bit slow because it has a quite a bit of information on it but just bear bear with me and let's see what the stage looks like so far dun, dun, dun. okay it should be should be getting pretty close okay perfect okay Nice, nice. So there's our stage. We didn't miss any legs. Perfect. All right, let's go back to the top. Let's go ahead and add some stairs so that we don't have artists jumping up and down, trying to hop onto the stage. There we go. And let's just double check, make sure that everything we need is correct. Um, self adjusting. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, let's go with the center. Oh, here, let me redo that. Yeah, really? Okay, redo that again. Probably let's try it like this instead. Well, this thing's kind of being a pain. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and put some stairs out in the front as well. That'll work. And once again, we're going ahead and and use our tools. Let's use our tools to make it a little bit easier. This one's called the mirror tool. And what it does, it's going to mirror this onto the other side. So we go to the center. 
Make sure you're nice and centered. And there we go. Here's our, our stairs. Awesome. Okay, let's add a new group. Let's label this rig or let's label it truss. Truss. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and show the others. Um, I like to keep it like this and then just control it from, from this button right here. Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and, and start selecting some truss. Um, Vectorworks comes with a massive library of truss, um, pipes, all, all sorts of stuff. Um, let's go ahead and pick out some, some Tyler. And let's see here. Um, there we go. Okay, let's go with some ten foot. Is it, this one's horizontal, no vertical. Okay. Um, let's go with this guy right here. Okay, perfect. So, yes. Let's go ahead and start with. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do an up, mid, and a down. Keep keeping it nice, nice and simple. Um, ten. There we go. Let's, let's go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and do a fifty footer. And um, no, let's go. Let's go ahead. We'll we'll go ahead and do a thirty, or a forty, fifty, and a sixty. Kind of have a little um, dimension in there. Okay, so let's uh, select our system objects. Go to the center. Let's. Bring it to the center right there. Oh, I went too far back, didn't I? Oops, okay, let's go to 35 feet. Boom, right there. Awesome. So that's one way of putting truss. Another way, you select this button right here. And what you will do is select, just draw a straight line, and it will calculate the number of truss in your system. There we go. Went one too far, it looks like. Yep. No worries. We'll just. Close it out. Once again, select it. Let's go to place it in the center. Uh, let's see. That's at 35, so let's put this here. And let's see, five foot separation. Now let's go just a little bit more, probably 10. Let's go to 10. Okay, awesome. Okay, awesome. So now let's, let's go ahead and uh, make our last truss system, which is we're going to do a downstage truss. We'll go ahead and toss it 10 feet in front. Um, there we go. Okay. Oh, we got one extra one. Okay, no worries. Like that. Select our system, make sure we're good. Good. Uh, all right, this will work. So now we have our truss systems. Right now, as you see it, it's going to be uh, just on the floor. Let it generate a little bit so you can you can see why we don't just stop right here. Because when you're going to render your project or or show a client your project, this is what they're going to see. So obviously that that is not okay. So next, the next step, um, you can add all your lighting and, and uh, trim do do the do your trim height afterwards. Um, I recommend doing it now. That's just part of part of what I do. So you'll select one of your sticks. Go to uh, right here. When it's highlighted in red, you know you have a fully connected system. So let's go. Let's start it. Mm. Let's see, let's start it at 20 feet. 20 feet, we'll go up, toss this guy at 23 feet, and let's send this guy at 28 feet. Okay, awesome. So now, now we should have our truss. Okay, great. Cool, so what we're going to do now 
is let's go ahead and add our, our motors. Select your hoist. Let's go ahead and you, and, and you can grab whatever ones you want. Um, here we got a 40 foot stick. Okay, great. Go ahead, buddy. There we go. And what this red line means right here, when it's highlighted in red, it means that it's going to auto connect your hoist to that truss system. When you don't see the red, um, it's it's basically not connected. So go ahead. Once you see it, connect it. There we go. Let's go out here. Right there. Right there. It was a little bit off. Um, okay, let's go just inside of that. Catch it right there. And we will catch it right there. Okay, awesome. Awesome. So now we have all our hoists. Select them all. And see how high the chains are. Looks good. Looks good. Oh. Let's go ahead and add a pickup symbol. Uh, trust picks or slings. Let's go ahead and use some span sets. Do the bottom. There we go. Select, and this is going to just show you the span set. It just makes it a little bit more realistic when when you're going to show your project. I'll show you here in just a minute. There we go. Oh, we got one. One guy is not behaving. Fifty feet. There we go. Okay, awesome. So, if you don't want to see your your pickup symbol um, right here, go ahead and we'll remove it. Awesome. So now that we have our hoist selected, let's go ahead and make its own design layer. Name it hoists. There we go. Away. Don't want to see them. Awesome, now let's go ahead and add some lighting. Hit your lighting device, let's go to lights. And here, let's go ahead and select, um, let's see, let's go with, with Martin. Select Martin, um, let's do the, the axioms. There we go, uh, gotta learn how to spell. About that. There we go. And I'm not going to edit any of this out. You know, it's just part of the game. Sometimes you just hit the wrong buttons. It is what it is. Um, basically, rule rule of thumb, and th this is in no way, shape, or form um, set in stone. But typically, with a with a GT on a ten foot stick, you can you can do up to four fixtures. Um, and on an eight foot, you can do five, uh, three. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna do three here. Um, probably just toss to 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 a wash light in between each one. So we're gonna have a pretty pretty simple rig for this tutorial purpose. Awesome. So as what what I did here was add each individual head by itself across the entire truss. What I'm going to do on this side is show you the difference in speed when you utilize your mirror tool. You always want to utilize your your tools to your advantage. So select your lights, select your mirror tool, go to the center, go up, and it attaches. So another really nice thing about this is you you can do your entire side, one, one side of your entire rig and just carry the whole thing off using your mirror tool onto that side. So it's just one of those things. And I did not select center, so it was one of the things to keep an eye on. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Mirror tool, go to zero. And 
Interesting. Oh, this truss is not centered. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, the truss is not centered, and that's clearly an issue. Way off. Way off center. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and select the entire system and take it to center. There we go. That's better. Okay. Cool. There we go. Now let's go to zero. Bring it up. And your lights are in place. Awesome. Cool. Let's go ahead and add some some wash lights in here. Um, there we go. There we go. Some more. Got it. All right, awesome. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and toss the same wash lights on on the downstage truss. kind of spot you want out there. Let's go ahead and do some vipers. Just to keep it in the... To keep it in that Martin family. There we go. Get a good handful of vipers. Get some cool aerial effects. That would be nice. Alright, great. Oh no, it looks like we need one more. Awesome. Okay, so now let's go ahead and select all our lights. And utilize your tools. Zero. Awesome. There we go. Let's check out our rig. What are we looking like? Our hoist, bring in our stage. Okay. Obviously, right now none of our pickup symbols are currently in the the drawing, but let's go ahead and add them in just for visual purposes. There we go. Come on, buddy. So here, here's our little rig. I'm going to go ahead and switch this up to normal perspective. There we go. This is this is what we're able to create with, with the software like Vectorworks. I hope this tutorial was um, beneficial for you. And this is just a start. This is um, very basic on, on getting into creating stages and, and, oh, one second, sorry, lost my train of thought. So this is the, the very beginning of, uh, what can be some, some, something really amazing, truly amazing. Um, I hope this, this helps you and, uh, please subscribe and, and like these videos, um, drop some comments of what you guys would like to see. Um, I am by no means an expert with with Vectorworks. I don't think we really ever will be because there's just so much to learn, especially in our industry. Um, that's what makes it amazing being in this industry. So uh, yeah, drop some comments and and let's see what what we can build together. Thanks. Till next time.